Okay, here's a, here's the continuation of us out of Sony uh, troubleshooting the uh, no picture bad panel KD 65x 85J. Okay, so we last left off, we reconnected the left TCON uh, wire, and we found that um, we lost all our voltages. Our 30 volts is gone, and 10 volts is gone, and 6 volts is gone. So now um, that has, you know, that tells us that the panel, the panel is bad. This side is bad. This side is fine. We had a good picture and everything. So what, what else I like to do is take this cover off and I don't want to pull it completely apart. So I pulled it apart enough so that I can get inside and there's a ribbon cable inside that actually separates, that further splits the uh, that half of the panel into sections. So we've got, you know, four sections, okay? And so, the ribbon cable is under here, all right? And so that'll be a section of the panel, and over here will be a section, okay? And um, the capacitors I was talking about ohming out, they are all across this board all the way to the towards along this board you can um, check for continuity and if they have con any kind of continuity they they're shorted and i took it a step further and i i tested every last one of these capacitors and none of them showed up as shorted so the whole half of the, it is in the panel circuit. But in this case, I can pull this up. And what I would like to do is just open one of these lines up. See that that flap, was it belongs down. If I snap it down, I had already opened it up. But it actually, if you mash it down, now that puts this part of the circuit in circuit. That part is now connected through that cable through that cable into the TCOM board. So what I would like to do is just disconnect this connector and that effectively will separate if I get in there with my fingernail or that, or that tool you know you gotta flick it up it's being tough now there we go so by flicking it up, it actually releases that cable. So that connection is no longer being made to there. And so what we can then do is turn the TV back on and see if, or we can actually test those voltages again and see if we get those voltages back. And that's what we'll do first. And then we'll turn, then we'll take a pic, look at the picture and see what, if we have a picture. So I bring this back over. Point it back down. Let's get back on our board. Let me zoom out some. Let's plug the uh, enough like that let's get let's get this panel power let me put this let's see we don't want that let's fix that get this out the way let's put the speaker back just to hold stuff in place so i've disconnected the i've disconnected i've removed three parts of the panel. So if I back up, if you can take the panel, slice it in half, then slice that side in half, and then this side in half. So it'll be one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, one, one whole panel. So basically right now, this side is, is completely connected through that cable. This side, half of it is connected 
through that cable because this side we disconnected it so this side this last corner won't won't have any connection to the board so now we can test and see whether it's the whole half of this panel that's drawing our voltage down or whether it's a quarter okay so now let's plug it up We last checked and we had both ribbon cables. We didn't have a vo our voltages were gone. So let's put it back on voltage. Let's set that here. All right. So the first thing I want to do, I want to check the 30 volts, VGI or VG. And I have 30 volts. 30 volts. So that's something, that's something impressive. So if I go to VAA. I got 17 and that's with this cable connected. So that automatically I is telling me I have 10 and let's see if I got 6.7 and I got the six point, I actually got 6.9 now instead of 6.7. Don't want near seven volts, 6.7. So that's telling me that we disconnected a cable up under here and we effectively got rid of this section of the screen so that tells me that last section of the screen of the panel is bad. Not the main board, not the power supply, not the TCOM board, that last section. And so what I'm gonna do now is back the camera up, stand the camera, stand the TV up, and we're gonna see what the picture looks like. If, if, it's, if, if, if my guess is right, we should have three quarter screen. Raise it up and look at that. We got three quarter screen. That's the bad section of this TV. Who knows? Maybe uh, while they was moving it, they squeeze it, and you know, the, the circuitry inside the screen got damaged. Even though there's no cracks or anything, um, that's probably what happened. Somebody probably when they was moving, they probably squeezed. You know, the screen is really delicate. So that's what more than likely happened. Sony, Sony make good products, so I doubt if uh, <laughs> they sold, sold a screen that, you know, some of the series that has bad panels. But the only time will tell if a lot of other people start experiencing the same problem, then these TVs have bad panels. So that concludes on how to troubleshoot. A TV with no picture, but the motherboard, the main board shows signs of sound, uh, has optical light lit, um, you can power it on and off, uh, the, the heat sink actually gets hot. All those point to either a bad T-Con or a bad panel, panel circuit abundant that the TCOM plugs to and or a bad panel. You can always check your voltages on your TCOM and if you, your voltages are missing, you can disconnect these two ribbon cables and if the voltages come back, then you know the, the problem is that way, you know. All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, get notified when I put another video up. God bless.